Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2. In this video I will show you how to activate the sound confirmation when you are locking the car. So basically what happens when you lock the car, the siren just beeps a little bit. But this is not the normal siren that you have here, but it is the siren from the alarm system. So if you don't, your car does not have alarm factory alarm system fitted, then you will not be able to activate this. How do you easily know if your car has alarm system? If you look here, where there is a button to open the fuel refuel, refueling flap, you have also additional button about, about this for the interior uh, alarm for the for the interior uh, uh, um, sensors for alarm. So if your car has here only one button without this one, the top one, then your car does not have alarm system and you are not able to activate this sound confirmation when locking the car. So, what do we need for this? We need a uh, diagnostic equipment and I use VCDS for this. So, I will just turn the ignition on because uh, the, this needs to be so that the VCDS can access the, the modules. And here we go just to select and we select the module 46 which is central convenience or CCU unit. So, 46, let's wait so that it connects. And uh, then uh, when it connects, we go to coding. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. This is a really old computer, so that's it. And okay, well, okay, let me just try again. It does not allow me to do any coding. So I think, I hope that now it will work. Uh, Yeah, it's connecting, so it takes some time. Okay, now I can uh, do, uh, use the coding, so we press the coding option. And here, if I put it uh, the mouse here, as you can see, here is the here are all the options that can be coded in this car. So this number is a sum of all these options, and my number is this one. So if we want to accept uh, to code the sound confirmation when locking the car, this is what we need to add. So this is confirmation anti-theft warning system horn. So we need to add to this number 1024. So if your, if your car has here different number, don't write in my new number, but add to your number this 1024. So if I add this, it comes to 7754 so i will do 7754 you need to leave this uh, uh, zero here because if you don't it will not accept the coding so for example if i do like this as you can see it's uh, coding is invalid so i will just put zero here and click do it now my car should be uh, should have the uh, 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 sound confirmation coded let me just verify that the code was accepted yes it was and let's go now out and check if the car will beep when I will unlock the car. Let me now try it, if it will be uh, beeping when I lock the car. So, beep, I, I locked it. If I unlock it, it does not beep, but if I lock it, it beeps just slightly. So again, beep. so this confirms that the car is locked and also the alarm is uh, activated. So again, done. And as, as you could see, uh, the car did beep. So this is great. This works. Now you can, if you want to have this function, you can activate it. I hate it because I don't need the beeping because I hear if the car is locked because the locks are quite loud. So this is enough for me and I don't want to annoy the, neighbor, uh, the neighbors. So I will now uh, deactivate it again. How, how can we do this? We just go back to the module 46. And if your car this has this function activated, you can deactivate it this way. So we go back to module 46, select the coding. Yeah, here it is the coding. And we just uh, subtract 1024 from this number. So I will just put my original number uh, back in, which is 06730. Do it. 
and let me just verify again that the coding was accepted. Hopefully it was, it should be, but I just verify. So this is it, yeah, the coding was accepted. And let's go out and check that the, there will be no sound confirmation when locking the car. So for the end, let me just verify that everything works as it uh, was from factory. So only blinker confirmation without the sound. So if I lock the car, the blinker is yes. And if I unlock twice, lock once and unlock twice. Perfect. And this was it. This was the coding of the uh, how to activate the sound confirmation uh, on Audi A2. It's very easy. If you like it, if not, you can activate it, deactivate it as you wish. You just need the diagnostic equipment. I hope that this video helped. Thank you for watching. Drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is always fun. Especially if you drive Audi A2. Bye! And for the nerds that are you are out there and I know that you are there. So there is also additional coding regarding this confirmation for locking and unlocking the car. Uh, this is the blinking, okay? So when you lock the car, the car blinks once, once, and when you unlock it, blinks twice. So this is from factory. As far as I know, every Audi this has, Audi A2 has this, already they activated from factory. And I don't know why you would like to deactivate this, but it is possible. How do we do this? It's the same as, uh, as regarding the sound confirmation. So we need to go, we need to connect to the module 46 and go to the coding. And you will see there are uh, three options regarding that are connected to the blinking. So, if your car has uh, uh, does not have a factory alarm system, then only two options are present, I think. So, if you see here, confirmation anti-theft warning system blink. It's plus two. So, this number already has this in place. It has included. So, we will need to... Um, retract 2 from this number. The second one is blink confirmation for locking via remote control. So this is uh, probably if your car does not have an alarm system, when you lock this means that it will blink once. And then we have the third one confirmation for unlocking via remote control. So this is blink twice when you unlock the car, uh, the car blinks. And this is 4096. So we will need to subtract three numbers from this number. Two, this is for uh, cars with alarm system. If you don't subtract this two, it will still blink when you lock the car because it will show that the alarm is uh, will be activated. And then we need to subtract uh, uh, 512 for locking the car and uh, subtract 4096 for unlocking the car. If you would like to have just blinking when you lock the car or vice versa, then you just uh, subtract number for locking or unlocking the car. Okay? So, uh, I will so I will completely deactivate the uh, blinking confirmation for locking and unlocking the car. So, I need to up subtract all three numbers because my car is equipped with alarm. And the number that I get is 2001. 2120. So I will click do it. That's it. Let me see there. It is accepted. So now let's go out and let's check if this really will not um, show any, will, there will be no blinking when locking or unlocking the car. Now let me verify that uh, nothing works, so uh, there should be no sound and also no uh, visible uh, blinker confirmation. So if I lock the car, and as you can see, yeah, nothing is, because everything is deactivated. And so this was it. Uh, as you could see, uh, the, there was no blinking, so this worked. And But I really like this uh, uh, blinking confirmation that the car is locked. I like to see it, so uh, I will just activate it back. So I will need to add three numbers, 2, 512 and 4096. So if we go here, again, this, I will need to add this, this and this. So I will just insert back my uh, factory number, 6730 
and zero six seven two zero and click do it let's see if it works it was accepted perfect and let's go out again to check that this really uh, works uh, that uh, now the blinking will be active so for the end let me just verify that everything works as it uh, was from factory so only blinker confirmation without the sound so if i lock the car the blinker is yes and if i unlock twice lock once and unlock twice perfect and so the blinking uh, was successfully activated back as it was from factory and this is my preferred uh, configuration so i hope that this also helped and you can adjust whatever you uh, want what are your wishes and what you want to see or hear when you are locking and unlocking the car bye